is it the end of the world? You know, those, those, those signs, they say, you know, this is it. Right. Jesus well, is coming back tomorrow. We're done. We're out. <laughs> and so we couldn't have a show on this May 20th without at least tipping our hat to the bustle surrounding the apocalypse. Yes. The zombie apocalypse, that is. Yeah, as it turns out, even the CDC is maximizing uh, the end of times talk. A blog posted yesterday on the website outlines the steps people should take. Should a zombie apocalypse take place? Now, you should note these, state, these steps you take in the event of a total zombie takeover are remarkably akin to those that you need to take in order to prepare for an epidemic or an earthquake. Yeah, for example, I mean, family members should set up an emergency plan and should make an emergency kit, including first aid supplies, because the organization <laughs> says, and I'm quoting here, although you're a goner if a zombie bites you, you can use these supplies to treat basic cuts and lacerations that you might get during a tornado or a hurricane. Indeed. Now, the website typically sees under about 3,000 hits per post, but the time that the CDC server had they had this up, it crashed, and the post mentioning the zombies had logged over 60. Now, kudos, kudos to the CDC for having a little sense of humor yeah. here. I think it's hilarious. Some people are like going, you don't joke about that. I'm like, come on, ease up. It's the ba you, it's in case of emergency. The same things that we would have just in case we there had a go. tornado. Exactly. So speaking of tornadoes and uh, other weather excitement, John. Hello.